Congressman Rob Bishop's plan for public lands is drawing fire from a group of students from several universities. The specialist Mike Anderson explains why they're concerned it could ruin the landscape and hurt our environment at the same time. They say the plan gives too much land to fossil fuels at 2.5 million acres. The voice of concerns here at the Capitol today asking Utah's delegation to reconsider. A plan for the future of millions of acres of wilderness. I'm a Utah native. I'm a lover of the Red Rock, and I'm an outdoor enthusiast. Strikes a personal chord for these university students from around the Wasatch Front. Many argue that more land is protected than given away in the PLI, but the draft PLI fails to ensure equal value in land exchanges. They're talking about the Public Lands Initiative drafted by Utah Congressman Rob Bishop. It's supposed to protect some areas while allowing for energy production in others. The Public Lands Initiative, as it stands, degrades existing Utah wilderness and opens up millions of acres to fossil fuel development. Instead, they'd like to see the plan shift to recommendations made by multiple tribal groups, which would include protecting nearly 2 million acres in what's called the Bears Ears region by establishing a national monument. It is deeply offensive for the Utah delegation to seek ownership of these lands while simultaneously rejecting the request of the Bears Ears Internet Intertribal Coalition. The students also delivered their concerns to the governor's office today, passing on copies to all of Utah's congressional delegation. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Mike, thank